Good afternoon and welcome to News Valdosta. I'm Dylan Whitten with your 3 o'clock update. Valdosta State University will pay $900,000 to settle a years-long federal lawsuit filed by a former student regarding violation of his First Amendment rights. Barnes was expelled from Valdosta State in 2007 after the student protested the construction of two parking garages supported by the president. A social media post by Barnes objecting to the garages was deemed a threatening document and Barnes was labeled a danger to the school. While paying the settlement, it allows the university to deny wrongdoing and liability. The $900,000 settlement is to be awarded to Barnes' attorneys. Barnes says he wants the money to go to his lawyers so no one knows how much money he will personally receive. Investigators in Louisiana are questioning why a 56-year-old man opened fire at Grand Theater 16 last night. The gunman opened fire on the theater after sitting in the movie Train Wet, train wreck for some time. Three are dead and seven are injured. Law enforcement is having to move quickly to get the shooter's computer, text messages, and other information from him. Louisiana State Patrol Sergeant Brooks David states that it seems to be a random act of violence. Two separate shootings occurred within two hours of each other in Albany yesterday. Police say a man was shot in both his legs on University Street at around 1 a little more than an hour later, police responded to a call where another man was shot in the chest off Watkins Avenue. Both victims were taken to the Phoebe Putney Hospital. This comes just a day after a drive-by shooting where an Albany teen was shot in the leg near West Society Street. The Valdosta heat has been hotter than ever this summer, but it hasn't stopped the Lions High Band from working hard at camp. Valdosta's news reporter Maggie McGlamory has more on how they are overcoming the heat. The Lowndes High School Bridgman are one of the most well-known school bands in the state of Georgia. With an outstanding number of competition wins, this band starts preparing their award-winning routines just weeks before football season begins. We had the chance to speak with band director John Bowman to learn about the expectations for this year's show and how the members are overcoming the Valdosta heat. This is by far the most challenging show we've ever done, music and, and drill-wise. Um, you know, we're looking at about 90-something pages of drill for the entire show, and the music is uh, is very challenging for the kids. So it's it's going to be a it's going to be a definitely a constant work in, in progress from now until we get into the football season. We're taking breaks about every 20 minutes, making sure the kids are getting hydrated. We've got misters back there that are keeping them cool down. Have nurses here all the time. You know, we're just constantly on the kids about if they start feeling you know, a little bit rough to go, go sit down and get cooled off. With just under 500 members, this group of students work during the hottest weeks of summer to perform a phenomenal halftime show. They have two weeks of band camp in late July where the routine is taught and musical pieces are practiced. As they experience the highest temperatures of the summer, band directors are cautious of the heat and everyone is continuing to work hard to perfect the routine. The Lowndes High Bridgemen are practicing to bring one of the hardest routines they've ever seen. Despite the harsh weather conditions, the band's trying to keep their winning tradition up. From Lowndes High Band Camp, I'm Maggie McGlamory. Thanks, Maggie. Nearly $200,000 worth of tools have been donated to Wiregrass Georgia Technical College. Wiregrass received the donation to its auto collision repair program yesterday. The tools were given to the school by Prince Automotive in Valdosta. Jay Prince says that auto parts will give students more hands-on experience in the field of automotive repair. Looking for some fun and entertainment this weekend? Wild Adventures is hosting its 14th concert of the season tomorrow night. Here's News Valdosta's Jessica Pope with more. I'm here at Wild Adventures concert venue where tomorrow night Rixton will take the stage. Preparations have already begun to welcome this British-based boy band to South Georgia. They're known for their hit, Me and My Broken Heart, but are now taking the United States by storm. This is Wild Adventure's 14th concert of the season, and it's sure to be an entertaining evening for all those in attendance. I know just being here in the park today that you can already feel the excitement surrounding the arrival of this band. For News Valdosta, I'm Jessica Pope. Thanks, Jessica. And now, taking a look at our weather today, we have a high of 91 degrees and a 60% chance of rain, and a low of 72 tonight and a 60% chance of rain as well. Tomorrow, expect a high of 92 and a 50% chance of rain. 
Thanks for watching News Valdosta. I'm Dylan Witt. Tune in at 4 o'clock with Jessica Pope for our next update. Have a great day.